Canada, memories of home, the one thing I carry with me always wherever I travel, from the powerful Atlantic Ocean with its ferocious surging tides, through a tranquil, beautiful heartland, and finally to a western mountain majesty that has no equal. This is my country. This is Canada. In a valley deep in these magnificent mountains, you will find the College of the Rockies where I spent two of the most memorable years of my life as a part of the Adventure Tourism Business Operations Program. In January of 2010, COTR forged a partnership with Tanzania's National College of Tourism. The result was Safari, Sustainable Activities for a Rising Industry, a project funded by the Canadian International Development Agency that would send two students to Dar es Salaam to introduce students there to the cultural, historic, gender and economic aspects of Canadian tourism. Using video documentary, the COTR students would bring back from Tanzania a true sense of the superbly diverse nature of its culture its tourism, and the young Tanzanians who are set to introduce it to the world at large. In August of 2011, Sierra and I were privileged to represent Canada and COTR in Tanzania. The first part of the journey, which would take us more than halfway around the world, began in Cranbrook, British Columbia, where we were introduced to the Culinary Arts Program on the COTR campus. Uh, my name is Tim Kernow. I'm one of the culinary instructors here at College of the Rockies in Cranbrook, BC. Uh, we're a provincially recognized program uh, that's six months in length, or 28 weeks. And at the end of it, the students do an interprovincial exam and a practical exam to get their credential in Cook One. It's the first stage on their step to becoming a certified Red Seal or Journey Person cook. First term is through the morning where they deal with introduction to the kitchen and rotate through the five major stations which are saucier, stock soups and sauces, entremetier which is vegetables and starches, uh, butchery which is self-explanatory where they fabricate different cuts of proteins and seafood and then they go through pastry and dessert and then garmanger which is cold kitchen and they do uh, everything from mayonnaises, uh, vinaigrettes, salads, uh, compound butters and sandwiches. The night shift is where we have uh, a fine dining room atmosphere. It's a table d'hôte style menu, so it's a set meal for a set price. We have a hot cold appetizer. Everyone gets a salad, four different entrees, two different starches, multiple vegetables, and then a choice of two desserts for a set price. Like I said before, a final practical exam based on the experiences throughout the, the kitchen, and then they're entitled to go out into industry and hopefully find work placement. On the COTR Golden Campus, we find the Adventure Tourism Business Operations Program, ATBO. For students who are looking for more than a career, who are looking for adventure in the workplace and career choices in the exciting and growing adventure tourism industry, ATBO is for them. Students are trained in entrepreneurship, marketing, sustainability, business and adventure skills. The instructors include highly skilled guides in avalanche safety, rock climbing, mountaineering, whitewater kayaking, backcountry skiing, backpacking, ice climbing, 
sea kayaking, and much more. Students can also gain university credits towards a degree in adventure tourism. So I'm Kyle Fitzpatrick. I just graduated from ATPO, class of 2010-2011, and uh, it's the most memorable experience of my entire life. I've never before experienced the heights and the lows that I have with this class, and every single individual has helped me throughout it. I think that one of the most important things about the ATBO program is the camaraderie that you experience with classmates and their ability to push you beyond what you previously saw as your limit. Armed with interviews, video footage, and a real respect for the quality of the COTR programs, Sierra and I left British Columbia on a two-day odyssey that would eventually see us land on a sultry 40 degrees Celsius Dar es Salaam runway. Our African adventure would now begin. We first went to the fish market to buy some Maggi. We went to buy food for a traditional dish with the National College of Tourism culinary student, Upendo. The fish market had a distinct pungent odor of raw seafood that was overwhelming to the senses. For 500 tish, less than 50 cents, we were able to have the smacky gutted by a young man near the seller's stall. With local small snipers from the Indian Ocean in hand, we crossed the street to the produce market to buy black beans, flour, sweet potato, and pumpkin leaves. With ingredients in tow, we went back to the hotel to learn how the culinary students added their twist to a traditional Tanzanian dish. At the Southern Sun Hotel in Dar es Salaam, the three culinary arts students from the National College of Tourism, Upendo, Kundi, and Anna, began to make the traditional Tanzanian dish. They got together to cook at Baraza Grill Cafe and Bar where NCT students can complete an industrial attachment or internship. Ugali nasamaki, or flower porridge, and small sniper fish, accompanied with mlenda na matambele na maharage, or green leaves with beans. The three students began by rinsing and boiling beans, cutting fish into thirds, and adding fresh lemon juice and a sprinkle of salt. Diced red onion, tomatoes, carrot, and green onion are added. Fish are steamed the traditional way, in a frying pan without oil. When fish are soft from absorbing liquid, they are ready to be eaten. Chopped okra, mlenda, is placed in boiling water until tender. Diced tomatoes, sliced red onion, are added to the matambele in a frying pan on high heat. Then the mlenda is whisked with two spoonfuls of peanut butter. Ugali is made by placing corn or sembe flour into a pot of water on low heat and stirring continually. Its texture and consistency is ideal for eating with your hands. Coconut milk is added to the maharagi beans for flavor. The students prepared fresh papaya and guava for dessert. We 
sat down to eat this extraordinary fresh meal with soft drinks made from cane sugar and fresh passion fruit juice. Tanzania is known for its world-class safaris. In Land Cruisers, clients race over dirt roads to spot the next wild animal. With two NCT tourism operator students as our guides, Francis and Bashiru, brimming with information on each species in the animal kingdom that you could only find elsewhere in an encyclopedia. We set off from the NCT to Mecca campus in Dar es Salaam. Canute, who owned and operated Canute Safari Limited, drove our Land Cruiser. set us up at the well-equipped Hippo Camp, just outside the Salu Game Reserve, overlooking the mighty Fiji River. The three-day safari began with a river tour in a small motorboat that hugged the shoreline searching for crocodiles and exotic birds careful not to scare away the shy hippopotamuses. boundaries of the Salu Game Reserve on day two. The diversity and sheer amount of animals was impressive. After the third morning began with the Bushman walking tour, our guide Didi from the local village shared traditional cultural knowledge about the forest we were exploring. Many of the things controlled by elephants. Insects they come to eat the dung of elephants. 
small animals, porcupine, elephant, three, ground, thousand ground hornbills, separate and find some remain seed. Baboon, they separate and monkeys, they take some seed and eat it from the elephant down. But it's still in ecosystem, all of the seeds remain, grow up after the rain fell. So the first animal in the world, maintain the forest condition, elephant. This is the last mobile phone used for local antennas. We are not doing tooty, tooty, mm -mm. Doo, 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 doo. Anyone hear this sound, go straight to the village and inform people now to let some people attack in the bush. So they come attention with the weapons to help you. So we do this technique. So this one we call it the bush communication. Dolelo, dolelo, happy, happy, happy. Shindi, wa shindi, wa shindi. Karibu sana. Sorry, Karibu. <laughs> dolelo, dolelo. What can people who are from such completely different backgrounds and cultures learn from each other? What can we offer of ourselves when we know so little of the lives of those we encounter on journeys such as the one we have undertaken? What Sierra and I experienced in Tanzania provided memories that will truly last a lifetime. What it also provided was a realization that in the important things, the things that really matter, people are not very different at all. We pursue education and look forward to the lives that are ahead of us. We all celebrate life as much as we can. We find joy in the smallest of things. We crave knowledge. We have dreams, ambitions. We have a love of country and of people. In the simple things, we are all very much the same.